टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इटरेशन मेथड प्रॉब्लम्स फाइंड ए पॉजिटिव रूट ऑफ एक्स पावर फोर माइनस एक्स माइनस टेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो बाई इटरेशन मेथड सो गिवेन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स पावर फोर माइनस एक्स माइनस टेन इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट माइनस टेन विच इज ए नेगेटिव वैल्यू If you substitute one in place of x, you are going to get minus ten, which is also a negative value. And f of two is plus four, a positive value. Therefore, always the root lies between two consecutive opposite signs. F of one is a negative value. F of two is a positive value. Therefore, the root lies between one and two. The root lies between one and two. Next, what you have to do? You have to define a new function phi of x, which satisfies some conditions. So, x power four is equal to x plus ten. This from this equation, x power four you can write it as x plus ten, where x is equal to x plus ten whole power one by four. So, both sides we are taking one by four. You will get like this. Therefore, this one you can write it as phi of x. Now, new function is. x plus 10 whole power 1 by 4 so if you observe uh, the root lies between 1 and 2 already we got it as the root lies between 1 and 2 so if x lies between 1 and 2 phi of x also lies between 1 and 2 okay similarly modulus of phi dash of x less than 1 for all x belongs to 1 where phi dash of x is nothing but 1 by 4 into x plus 10 whole power 1 by 4 minus 1. That is nothing but minus 3 by 4. So now we can satisfy this condition. Modulus of phi dash x, x less than 1 for all x belongs to the 1 and 2. Therefore, iteration method can be applied. Okay. And x1 is equal to formula phi of x naught. x1 is equal to phi of x naught that is nothing but x naught in here you can consider the start up value as 1 so phi of 1 that is nothing but phi of x is how much 1 x plus 10 whole power 1 by 4 therefore 1 plus 10 whole power 1 by 4 that is 1.82216 now x1 is how much 1.82216 Now x2 formula is phi of x1, where x1 is 1.82216. Therefore, this is nothing but phi of 1.82216. You substitute the, this value in the phi of x function, you will get 1.85423. Similarly, x3 is equal to phi of x2, where x2 is 1.85423. If you simplify, you are going to get one point eight triple five. Similarly, x four is equal to five of x three, and it is also one point eight triple five. Therefore, approximate root is one point eight triple five. Here, x one is equal to five of x naught. So here, in place of x naught, you can take The root lies between one and two. Therefore, you can have one point five. So you can take one point five in place of x naught, and you can proceed. Okay. Thank you.